This is Zorin OS 12 Lite 64 bit beta that's just been released probably around five hours ago. It's running here on a virtual machine with four gigs of RAM. We've given it two CPU cores and a 50 gig hard drive. We're just going to have a look through the me uh, menu a little bit. I'm not going to go through everything, just to have a quick squeeze, see what we get. You can see it's up 380 megabytes there. This is a fresh boot. This is the first application I've opened since I've booted it up. And it certainly does feel snappy and responsive to um, to use it. You can see how quickly everything's starting. Fairly typical looking uh, XFCE settings here, with the exceptions of Zorin appearance in here. As you can see, we've got two desktop layouts to choose from. You'll see the panel change when I click on there. And we've got a few choices down here as well with the buttons left and right up on the uh, top bar there. We'll go back to the default. We've got our typical Zorin themes here with a bit of a graphic of what you're going to get another one there, some different colours and so forth. And there's the file manager running there with the different colour in it. And I think this is a new one here. A bit of a tan looking colour. I see these icons. Oh, there they go. They're changing now when I've moved the mouse over them. Well, I had that before when I went through this. That the um, Some of this doesn't change until you restart the application. Not a big deal though, certainly not a deal breaker. And that that is uh, Thuna. This is the file manager. Uh, we'll go back to the de default setting here. Some fonts, themes, desktop, that's what you get in there. Some wallpapers in here, There's a few old book and favourites here. The, the one you get here looks like the same as the one on um, Zorin 12 Core and Ultimate, and maybe a few, a few ones perhaps I haven't seen before. Got four desktops enabled by default. I'm just cycling through them now on the keyboard. And most of it's fairly, fairly typical looking XFCE to me. The clock volume, and that works. That's just rolling the mouse wheel over the volume there. The uh, network, Bluetooth, and computer, whatever that does. I, I don't actually know what that one does bit of transparency going on on the panel down below that's visible now that uh, I didn't actually notice earlier on. We'll just go back to the standard wallpaper again. Got our software here. Notice this before it was a little bit slow to get going, but it did get going. I just started chromium as well, just to make it all do a bit of work, and to show that this is the the typical Zoran thing here with the customized search page. 
hand drive VLC for example there we go install all good and that's a bit of a look around Zorin OS 12 Lite 64-bit beta